That's something interesting. Um, I'm running a obviously a virtual box in uh, Windows 7. Um, what I'm actually running is, of course, this is GNOME GNOME 3 shell. Uh, there's no uh, minimize buttons anymore, so just minimize and. You can see that it's got the acceleration going. And what's interesting about this whole thing is um, I'm running this not from uh, a regular uh, uh, distribution such as Mint or uh, Ubuntu or Ubuntu. I'm running um, something called Arch, Arch Linux. Um, which is really neat because you you uh, you have to build the system up from scratch. Um, I know it's not uh, for the uh, faint at heart, but um, it's really interesting. Uh, I chose uh, GNOME, GNOME, whatever, uh, just to uh, get a graphical interface I was uh, familiar with. Unfortunately, I did try uh, L LXD. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's a light desktop, but I'm not familiar with it. I'm going to need more time with that. But this is uh, really neat. I'm just waiting for this Java to uh, finish installing. And But if you see here, sudo, just like anything else in uh, Linux, I had to set up a user's sudo. And this thing called Pac-Man, that's, that's your installer. And it's all command line. So if I just wanted Java, like I just did there, it was Pac-Man slash Ash slash capital S J R E Java. And before that it was Pac-Man S slash dash S Firefox. And I got the latest one. And a whole bunch of stuff to download for Flash plug in. And to be compatible. And this it's just really neat. It's just the under the underlying uh, system is really something that I found to be uh, interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm overly keen on this uh, um, GNOME 3 shell, but I mean it's uh, familiar enough to get around. And as you can see, I'm building up uh, my application. There's Firefox and a few games and. Uh, encryption and you know the usual stuff you'd see and uh, let's see uh, system oh system monitor file system I'm only using uh, 3.3 gigabytes out of uh, 20 that I allocated so that's pretty good if you think about it um, obviously it's I can't do a whole bunch of uh, things on here. It's only 20 gigs of hard drive, hard drive space, but it's it's pretty neat. Um, sound settings. The sound does work. I installed Banshee, but I probably have to log out um, to uh, get it to register again. Um, this is interesting too, but this is more about the GNOME, a GNOME 3 sort of thing. But uh, yeah, Arc, Arch Linux. I don't know what you would call it for sure, but I, it's really interesting. Um, I'm thinking about installing this on my uh, a main partition or actually dedicated hard drive for it. And uh, it's just I've been going through this over and over just to get the um, most of the basic commands down so I can uh, at least if I don't have anything in front of me to refer to at least I can sort of run some commands and get you know the the mouse and uh, the sound and eventually build the uh, video system and uh, this also has custom uh, drivers for NVIDIA and ATI so you don't have to rely on the proprietary ones like you do in some other distros but uh, yeah this is uh, pretty neat so anyway just a little uh, chat about trying uh, different distributions and uh, 
if I post this, I don't know if I'll post this or not, but uh, if I do, um, please uh, feel free to comment. And uh, as usual, and as always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, uh, take care of yourself, and bye for now.